Hi, welcome, welcome back to the shop. I just wanted to show you a little technique that might help you out of a pinch sometimes. Um, when you're working on a piece and you need a, a radius on an inside corner, you can use a bullnose end mill. That's an end mill with um, edges that have a radius. But most of the time you don't have one with the right radius or you don't have you don't even have one because they are pretty expensive um, you can improvise and hand grind your own bullnose cutter I did this with this one and I used it for a, a part where I just needed uh, a shoulder with an inside radius for uh, cosmetic reasons and um, I did this freehand on the bench grinder and it worked quite well and I just wanted to show you how I did it and uh, do a test cut with it then. We will grind a radius on this big two flute high speed steel end mill and you can just eyeball it or you can use a radius gauge to check it. We're at my bench grinder and the lighting over here is also pretty awful. Um, we're going to cut to, to grind, just take the end mill and grind a radius on both of the cutting edges. When we do this we have to make sure that we have the cutting edge level in um, parallel to the um, rest of the grinder. And then we will just grind a radius like this. Flip it around and do the other side. And we repeat this until both radii have the same size and are the size we want actually. So let's do this. And be careful not to grind into the other cutting edge when you do this. There we go, first one. And second one. Looks pretty even to me. And this end mill will not work like this. Um, it will rub on the workpiece where you just ground the radii. We have to um, grind away the material behind the cutting edge. And it helps if you blew up the material behind the cutting edge so when you grind you can remove material until there is a very thin blue line left and that's your cutting edge. And relieving on the back side is really no precision operation. You just grind away material until there is a, a narrow blue line left. There we go. Uh, here I got a bit close to the cutting edge, but this one got pretty good. You see that I have on the radius a nice, a nice blue line up here where the front cutting edge is. And that's more than enough relief for this cutter to work. And now we go to the milling machine and take a test cut. Okay, we're over at the milling machine and we have our hand ground bullnose cutter in the spindle and a piece of 7075 aluminum in the vise. I'm using aluminum because I can cut it very fast for this demonstration. I will cut in the Y direction so you can see what's happening.
and lubrication. There we go. Okay, as you saw, it's cutting very good. And when we take a look at our edge in there, we should have pretty nice radia. radius. Clamp the piece. Uh, this is just a cross hole from the other side on, on the scrap piece. Uh, but when we look in the on the front side of the workpiece you can see that the edges of this slot are rounded and that's what we wanted with this uh, whole uh, technique and doesn't look too shabby uh, we could improve the uh, the roundness of the radius bit by hand honing or by using the radius gauge or by be more careful while grinding but um, the nice thing about this technique is that it's really fast um, you're you're up and running in a few minutes when you need a internal radius on a workpiece and don't have to set up your tool cutter grinder or your d-bit grinder um, you can do this also on the d-bit grinder and then it's you get a perfect radius end I will show it some some sometime in the future. I will show it on the D-bit grinder too. Um, then you get a really nice radius and also defined radius. Um, I have no idea how big this radius is. It might be about 1.5 millimeter in ra radius, but works very well and might help you in a pinch. Hope. You enjoyed and thank you for watching. See you next time.